head coach Mary Wise. Thanks for joining us, Mary. You've been a head coach for a long time. And so I'd love to get your opinion on how things are dramatically different today than when they were when you started coaching at this level, from a funding standpoint, from an exposure standpoint, even from a rules standpoint. That many, many decades ago? <laughs> yeah, I think one of the biggest differences in the game today is the number of great athletes playing the sport of volleyball around the country. Just look at the participation numbers. But there was a point in time where we weren't getting, meaning volleyball, some of the better athletes in the country. They were choosing other sports. And now a lot of them have gravitated to volleyball and thus the parity around the country. There are great players all over playing Division I women's volleyball. How about in terms of just uh, changes that need to be made? We've got all these great players now. There's more parity in the game. There's more people watching the game. What needs to be done to keep pushing it forward? I think one of the greatest things that's happened to our sport is this, television. We're on TV more than we've ever been before, and that provides for exposure. I think the changes in the rules that were implemented at one point that seemed so drastic and, and there was the controversy, would rally scoring actually help the game? Yeah, it did. It was <laughs> wonderful. Uh, the addition of the libero, the substitutions. I think, you know, I look back on the rules committee and, and the heartaches they went through, but all of those decisions have been good for growing the game. What we need to do now, I really believe, is be able to make our sport available to those girls who do not grow up in the tradition-rich areas where club is easily accessible or easily affordable. We're missing out on some opportunities for girls and really isn't college athletics about opportunities. So I think that's got to be our next step. Do you have a theory on how to do that? I think we have to go to the girls. They're not, not all of them have the, the ability to, the transportation, parents who, you know, two parents and one is working and one can drive them all over or fly them all over the country for club. Like what we have to do is start local. If we could create opportunities for young girls to be exposed to volleyball, and I'm a big believer, play it all. When you're young, try all the sports little prejudice I think you'll <laughs> eventually choose volleyball but if we need to create opportunities for girls who don't have access to the clubs or the private lessons and the things that are kind of popular in our sport right now but we're not the only sport that's happening to that that is true across the country uh, but playing volleyball at the collegiate level it's a pretty awesome experience and there are a lot of girls that have come through it they would tell you that as well you mentioned some of the changes in the sport in terms of rally scoring for example well this year the challenge system is gradually starting to get worked into a lot of conferences especially the sec your thoughts on the challenge system where it is now and where it needs to go I have to give a lot of credit really to the officials because this wouldn't happen without them embracing it. And to an official that I've spoken with that matches, I think they're for it. They want to get the calls right. I think it, it helps them, it helps the line judges. And we have some tweaking to do. Can we get it, the review system to happen faster? Is three the right number? Um, should you get one back if your call is overturned? I mean, we can work on that. The bottom line is that we, we want the game to be the game and not let calls or missed calls be part of the story. It's about the athletes and I think the video replay makes that happen. Well, finally, Mary, I wanted to ask you to reflect back on you as a coach, your personality, the way you've approached athletes. Would a Missy Whittemore walk in the gym today and say, that's the same Mary Wise that coached me or have you had to kind of change your approach with each generation of athlete you've worked with? I'd I'd like to think she would say it's the same person, but the coaching is different because the game is different. The level of athletes that we are coaching, the, the expertise that we have provided to us with nutritionists and strength and conditioning coaches, I think we're all better as coaches as the game has evolved. But at the end of the day, it's about understanding that the person is always more important than the player, and that will never change.